We're walking now outside of obviously a prison and this prison of course was used by the Soviets for unimaginable things. Uh, the property around it has been taken over for pedestrian use right on the Baltic. It's quite beautiful. Um, but to think that the people on the inside of this prison uh, could only look out longingly if they could see anything. Um, I mean, even just to think about what it would have been like to spend a day in the life of someone in a Soviet prison is almost unimaginable. But I'm hoping that there's a way in that they may offer tours on the inside to actually get a look at what it is. And I know a lot of these museums don't really like to, uh, to let anybody film, so we'll see if that happens. But very curious nonetheless. Actually, passing this on my way to what was a military base. So I'm interested to see what they've got over there before making the very long walk back to my hotel at this point. Um, but I, I couldn't pass it up. It was, uh, you know, you see something in the distance and it looks a whole lot closer than what it actually is in real life. At least it didn't take me a train to get there. <laughs> Although I may be shelling out for an Uber or a Bolt to get me back. Well guys, that was one of the best museums I've been in, in terms of its power. Um, they did a very good job of illustrating on a self-guided tour what it was like to have been imprisoned here during the time of the Soviet Union. And they didn't have to do much, the buildings, um, 
all around here are kind of what was to be expected if you were a prisoner during those Soviet times. Yeah, wow. Uh, I think in terms of understanding the culture of a place, you really have to understand the people that live there, what plays in the background um, every time they make a decision. And although I'm interested in houses of culture in terms of social programs um, or, or social organized social activities rather, um, I have to keep in mind that there were people that were here for whom social activities would never have happened. So this is just a haunting reminder of what life would have been like. I highly recommend this. If you guys get to come to Tallinn, uh, find the prison, go in and have a look. I promise they'll let you out.